Hey everybody, Accurus here. Welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. This is going to be a random hunt. First hunt of November 2021. So let's just uh, pick out a reserve here. I haven't been there for a while. Red, red deer. Yes, they still have it there. It's been so long I wasn't even sure. Let's go for some red deer, hopefully, and, uh, you know, whatever else we have to bump into. I'm going to go for this, Hirschfeld. It's a pretty one. It's it's a nice, it's fall here in Ohio, as it is for much of, <laughs> much of our area. Uh, it feels like fall, anyway. Yeah, pretty much looks exactly like this. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a look around here, see where we're at. Oh, wow. Since the reset... Oh, yeah, okay. The girls did do a little bit of exploring. I think they started down here somewhere. You can see where they pressured down here a little bit. Maybe that was me. Can't remember. Shooting range. They got. Oh, they moved the... Sh I don't remember the shooting range being on an island. I thought it was, like, more inland or something. Hirschfeld. Maybe, maybe it's moved it. Anyway, so what I think what I'll do is I'll probably... Um, probably going to kind of make my way up to this lookout here and then over to this lookout and unlock these. And do some hunting as we move. So let's go uh, make sure that... I'm just going to stay on foot this whole time. We have two two cabins with two beds. Oh, here we go. There's our locker. It's not inside this time. But uh, I'm not going to use the ATV this time. I'm just going to go for a little stroll. See what we can get into. That's not like... Is that a turkey or is that a... That's a pig, isn't it? No, it's not a pig. I can't tell what that is. It's weird. Whatever it is, it's weird. So, let's see here. Gonna stick with the. Let's see what we've got. What are we, what are we rocking? Two forty-three and the crossbow. Oh, well, somebody's been playing since I last played. I think. I remember having a crossbow. I want to go with a three or thirty out six. And uh, we got the thirty out six. Get rid of these arrows. Get rid of that. Bleat. Road deer. There are road deer here. I think it said there's turk. Maybe there's turkey. Can't remember. But. Yeah, I think we're good there. Not too worried about turkey, though. I don't think, I'm not, not going to be carrying anything to really shoot a turkey with. Yeah. All right, good enough. And let's see here. We got ourselves a hunting tent. The night vision range grinder goggles. Uh, or binoculars. Um. I'm okay with that. Do we want a hunting blind? Might set set one up. Call one in. How far will this put us overweight? Yeah, let's keep the ten. If we need the hunting uh, one of these hunting uh, stands or blinds or tripod stands, we can always deploy this and get it from there. So it's always good to have the tent if you're not sure what's going to happen, because you can always deploy and then grab whatever you need from the tent inventory. So yeah, let's do that. Looks good. Going to my... Yeah, let's see here. Make sure that I have the... Oh, I don't have it equipped. That's what I was afraid of. 30 out 6, and the sights. There we go. Haven't unlocked the uh, larger site yet, so stuck with that for now. And do we have the tent? I really don't need that. Yeah, tent's going to be 7. Let's drop that down here. Oh, yeah, it was at three. It was three, apparently. Normally, I don't use three for the ten, but it's seven now. All right, everything should have... Yep, everything's loaded. Okay, so let's put a marker here on the map. we got a question mark here. Might as well go to that first. It's right on the way. All right, let's go for a walk. Fall colors, everybody. Fall colors. Take this trail on up. See what's up here. What time of the day is it anyway? I didn't notice. Take a look. Okay. Just a little bit, about 2 30 in the afternoon. There are lots of activity out here, though. Geese. I remember the goose hunting on this is a lot of fun. I've got to definitely do that in the near future. Yeah, I'm sure it's changed a little bit, but man, the goose hunting is fun. Calling them down, when they have decoys all set out. Same for ducks. A lot of fun. I 
That's a good one to do multiplayer. If you're, you know, happen to be playing with a friend. That's a road ear, definitely. All right, so we're not going to use this rifle for it, but we are going to go ahead and try to call it in because I do I have a road. Some tracks in that area earlier this morning. Hold on, I'll send the coordinates. That's a male roe deer. They're smaller, but just as delicious. No, I have no idea. I've never had. <laughs> I've never had roe deer. All right, so this is just a place to build. I'm gonna go ahead and put on some sand eliminator. Normally, that's my seven, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's normally my number seven. Not that you guys would ever know what keys I'm pushing, unless you look and see what where it's equipped. I'm gonna kind of stand up here. This little road here are pretty small. Sense going the correct direction for this one. If we can call it in, we'll be in good shape. If I use the 30 out six, it's a it's not gonna be an ethical kill, so I need to make sure I use the right caliber. I think he'll be he'll be coming up around the mountain here. Eventually. I don't really want to go. Really want to go any. I think is there any good cover? Not that that the bushes over here might be decent. Give me a little bit of... Eh, I don't know. I don't like that. I like being up where I was better. I'd rather have this this sight line here better. Uh, I like this, yeah. Because I can, I can see a little bit more. In case he comes up this way. Hear a prop playing behind me. Let's see if we can call him again here. Not with that. That won't do it. Five, right? Is it five? Yeah. Okay. Come on, buddy. I just want to be friends. I keep thinking I should... I just got them playing the long dark. I keep feeling like I should be looking for wolves. Or bear or moose sneaking up on me. To try to... To try to get me. A little worried he hasn't called back out again. All right, I'm gonna move forward a little. I don't remember a road deer being that particularly coy. Wait, what's that in front of me? That is absolutely nothing. That's what that is. Probably why they put this uh, hunting stand. This buildable hunting stand right here. Probably going to have pretty good sight lines over this valley and the one ahead of us here. Oh good, rain. That's helpful actually. Yeah, there's something out there. What is that? That's him right there. Stop. He should be. That felt like a good shot. He's running right at me. Oh, he dropped immediately. He dropped immediately. I think that's him, actually. I saw the little antlers. It's about all the bigger they get for the roe deer. So, that's going to be a double lung, I think. Well, we might as well run down. Everything knows we're here anyway. There goes the geese. Oh, so much fun to call them down. Have them break off of the formation, like three or four of them come down and get them. All right, let's see what we got here. The right lung. All right, silver. That was a male, so yeah. Yep. That's pretty much where I was aiming. I'm happy with that. Just a silver, but... We were, we got all the check marks. So, all right, let's grab it. Continuing on. Let's keep uh, heading up this way. And yeah, you can see how we just pressured this area right here. 
All right, now our wind is... I mean, for anything in front of us, wind is cooperating nicely at this point. I bet that was the one I was talking to earlier. Who didn't want to be friends. So that's a lesson. If I want to be friends with you, make sure you want to be friends. I was like, what the heck is that? I was thinking, dead by daylight. I'm like, oh no, I better go run. <laughs> that was my first instinct. I heard that chainsaw and I'm like, oh, I need to run. Of course, I have, a, I have two rifles. I don't know why I'm running. I don't have the duty to flee when I'm better, better armed than the possible adversary. Okay, another road here, another male. That might be the one I was talked to earlier, but decided not to come around. Was that a warning call or a mating call? I couldn't tell. Well, I, did, I, I could tell, but I just didn't look, so. Oh my gosh, I picked the wrong. Can I turn this off? Oh, that's horrible. I should have picked the other <laughs> binoculars. I thought I could turn these on and off. Apparently I can't, or I don't know how. They might have, maybe something changed. Oh, oh, there it is. I just saw it. Shoot, screw that. Use my scope. Unfortunately, I don't think I can... I don't have the ability to unlock the spot through my scope quite yet. Wind's good for us. Try to call them in again. The thing about the road ears are so small they could actually get kind of lost in that tall grass. The first one got a little bit... Okay, I see him. He's coming at me. That's a male, and I thought I saw something over here. No, nope, he's coming right at me, though. I'm going to take him. Hard shot. Mm. Should drop pretty quick. That felt like a good shot. Well, I was anticipating hunting red deer, and here we are hunting roe deer, so... You never know with these random hunts. You take whatever God puts in front of us, I guess. Oh yeah, that's a lot of blood. That's definitely a organ hit. Oh yeah, there's another huge patch of blood. Vital organ hit just now. Yeah, oh, I think he's... He's probably just inside this. There he is. All right, let's head on down here. Oh, I turned on my headlamp is what I did. Left line. All right, I just... How much did I miss the heart by? I think I was a little high. Yeah. Maybe. I think that was a safe shot, actually, because that heart was... I'd have, I'd have felt really weird aiming that low. But, oh well. We still get to eat the heart. I wish you could actually see the planes flying over. That'd be really cool. But I do feel like we're on a flight path or something. My goal now is just to make it to this first, first lookout. Because uh, <laughs> I try to keep these to about 30, 35 minutes, 40 minutes at the max. These little short random hunt videos. I don't know if we're going to make it to the second one. But at least if we make it to the first one, unlock the uh, cabin nearby that and start off from there next time. It was beautiful when we started out. Now it's kind of... It's good for hunting. Just not so good for sightseeing. wonder if the night vision is actually any good here. It's kind of shadier and dark. Probably not. It's probably still washed out. Oh yeah, it's horrible. It's horrible. I thought I could turn them off. I wanted the rangefinder feature. I don't know why. It's not like I'm 
taking crazy long shots and needing to actually make those large adjustments, but yeah, I should have just stuck with the other one. More geese. They are teasing me, man. I want to hunt some geese. I'm going to definitely do that in the next video. I'm going to... It'll probably be like a relearning self-tutorial on how to hunt these geese again. They're pretty profitable, too, if I'm not mistaken. Now, I think the, the ducks actually land on water. The geese, I don't think, ever do. I think they just fly over in, like, the, the V formation. Both ways before you cross this, the, the fire road. Well, not too bad. Two for two so far. Two shots, two lung shots. Two male roe deer. Now we got some tracks here. Where are these going to be? Roe deer. And it's male again. I want to keep shoving forward here. See what's over this little rise. Let's do that real quick. See if it it kind of looks like it's going to be a big, wide open field, like a football length or so. Judging by the tree pattern, yeah, no, not not quite that big. Kind of foggy though. That's a bit annoying. I'm not going to go crashing through those bushes. I'm going to walk around here. Is that just an ambient noise? It's not actually considered a call because that's I've heard that like that's what I was hearing back at the uh, at the cabin. It sounds like turkey to me. It's a bit different. The, uh, the lookout here is a little bit different than most of the other ones. It has this triangular shape to it. Which is pretty cool. Alright, let's head on up here. And I'm not going to go crashing up these steps either because sometimes you get up here and you'll see a decent, decent animal. Almost using this like a hunting blind. Huh. Sometimes. There's the uh, wind farm over there. Feels a little weird not using my binoculars every chance I get. Maybe once we... Uh, I could always deploy my tent and switch them out. But I think what I'll do is I'll just unlock this, go to the cabin, and then switch, switch out again. There goes the geese again. There they go. tempt me so much.
How cool is that? All right. So let me see. I'm, it should be one where it's probably a. That's probably a cabin too, maybe. Let's see here. Uh, I'm guessing it's gonna be right here. Yeah, probably right here. Or right here, off of one of these two ends. So let's hit this one first, and then head up here, and then here, and then that should be probably a good a uh, good ending point for the for the hunt at least. I think one of these will definitely prove to be the cabin. Lots of noise out here. So noisy. Alright, let's throw on a little bit more scent eliminator. Some droppings here, maybe? Yes. Small. Whatever it is. Tiny, tiny. Roe deer. Well, we know where to find roe deer on the map, that's for sure. Definitely in the right area for the, that, that and geese. Most definitely. Roe deer trot. Which way does that head? Oh, back that way. Not interested. Not interested at all. I don't really want to have to go down in the woods, but I think it opens up where the uh, windmill farm is. Got a nice little shooting platform right here. Tuck into this little... Actually, this would be the perfect spot. Tuck right in here like this. Be invisible and have this whole area here. If you could call something out of the woods, this would be perfect. Look at the leaves coming off the trees. Nice, nice touch. <laughs> it looks, <laughs> it looks exactly how my yard looks right now. Just leaves coming off the trees like crazy. We have 33 trees on our yard, in our yard. I, th I think that's what we counted. And I don't think we missed any, and I don't think we double counted. But when we first moved in. The girls and I ran around, and we counted every tree in the yard. Yeah, it's a two-acre yard, so it's not huge, but... Yeah, that's kind of how it looks right now. There's the leaves coming down, and they're big trees. I mean, big. Like... Uh, see that tree right there? That's pretty much how... That's probably about how the, the tallest one in our yard probably looks. Yeah. The tallest one or two. Massive trunks. Not like, I mean, you know, if you're in Northern California or Oregon, yeah, not, they're not sequoias or anything. But large trunks for Ohio, let's put it that way. Something down there, is that a little... This is a stump, okay. Um, yeah, let's go this way. I think we have to kind of go through some brush no matter which way we go. Let's just go ahead and go this way. Probably miss a, probably missing some uh, calls with all these geese honking around going every which direction. Alright, it's just a structure to build. Well, at least we know. Up here, ooh. This is a nice wide open area. I like it. This would be a good spot for geese. Get up into one of these fields somewhere. Like, actually, this right here wouldn't be too hateful. This little spot right here. Alright, let me mark my next objective once I clear, clear these fields of activity. All right, yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Okay, let's take a look here. Let's, uh, you kind of want to go that way and then that way and that way. 
All right, let's do it. I have a feeling this is going to be one of those like landmark lore things. Actually, I can probably see it from here. Can I see it? I don't see a big cabin over there. Let's not go that way then. Let's go to this one. Jeez. I am coming back here to hunt geese. I need a cabin to, to launch from, though. Or I'll just drop a tent and use that. It's my mobile cabin. Save point. Gearing up area. Might I might just do that back to back with this episode. I might try to relearn how to get me some geese. I still want to want to get back in and play episode 4 of Encased and get back into um, oh, uh, Neo Scavenger episode 11. I still got to do those. So much to do. It's a good problem to have. Um, wow. They are just hot and heavy through here. to go cr crunching through all that the sticks I don't know how loud they are I don't see them too often but I have a feeling they're gonna be louder than where I'm walking now the airplane I want to see the airplane don't just put the sound in I feel like the way it the way it sound or no is that the I, I think that's a turbine yeah, I think that's a turbine, actually. Never mind. But when I hear the airplane, I want to be able to look up and see it. Well, I figure here's what we're going to do. We come down here, set up a little spot for the geese, and then whatever we don't get, the turbines bring down for us. So if I miss one, they fly right into turbine, and there we go. Get minced goose. For dinner. Of course, they're going so slow, I don't think it'll matter. Yeah, it's definitely the turbine. Tell you what, this game is amazing for keeping, making you keep your uh, screen clean, because uh, it really, you really start to notice all the little, little mark or little like dots on your monitor, dirt or whatever, because you keep thinking, you look around and you're like, what is that? And you look and you're like, oh, it's just some, it's just dirt on my monitor. <laughs> I'm going to get up on this like ridge so I can see over here and then maybe I'll see two areas here at the same time. Maybe not. I don't see much activity down here in this, whatever this is, is this marijuana field? What is this? No. <laughs> Fir trees, I think. can't see crap over here just because of how washed out it is from the angle of the sun and the fog. What a good what a good effect that is. I can't believe I'm not hearing any more calls than what we've heard so far. I bet you this is gonna be a stand. Between two two wide open fields like this. I don't think it's gonna be a cabin. I think it's gonna be a stand. But Oh well, I'll drop a tent over here, if that is the case. There's the chainsaw again. I'll check this one after, but we might be able to just see that one straight across the field.
I wish this fog would lift. It's just this like annoying haze that just makes it hard to see contrasting colors. figure out a way to climb up one of these and hang out, like put a tree stand on the side of one of these. Make as much noise as you want up there, they'll never notice. That would be funny if, <laughs> if it led you, but I think, you know, that's just way too wide for any, any tree stand. All right, so I think this is gonna be one of those landmark things, right? Like one of those uh, big stone landmarks with the local lore on it. Oh, that's a sign. What is that about? Different. Well, let's learn a little something here, shall we? Let's see what this says. Inspect. Oh, the turbines. Yeah, Summer recently gave permission to a green energy company to set up a windmill Windmills on his land, they provide electricity to nearly all the villages bordering Consberg Lake. Yeah. We'll leave that when I see it. I don't think, yeah, these villages must be very small. That's not going to provide too much energy. Alright, uh, this probably is going to be something, yeah, we can see this from here. Let's see if there's actually a cabin down here or not. I don't think so. Nope. What is it? Hunting blind? There it is. Yep, it's a hunting blind right there. Okay, let's uh, let's move over here then. That's it. Hopefully I can uh, have enough money to purchase the... Well, I have, I have birdshot. Uh, I think... I just need a blind or something, I think. If memory serves. I think I need to buy that. Maybe I already have it. Like... Oh, man. There's that noise again. It sounds like a... It sounds like something barking now. Yeah, that kind of sounds like a bark now that I hear it again. I'm not sure. Oh, man. Walking through here. Talk about being able to see your hand in front of your face. These are like just the perfect heights to obscure anything good in front of you. Oh, you know what this kind of reminds me of? We, we're going to be going. We got ourselves a uh, Advent Christmas tree farm here in Dayton. The best. If you're in the Miami Valley area, Advent Christmas Tree Farm. The only problem is they open it up for uh, appointments. For, they're only open for like two days. They open it up for appointments about two months in advance. So you have to be ready for it. And you have to reserve your spot. I don't know why I'm telling you all this because then it's going to be harder for us to get a spot. But it is amazing. That place is top. Uh, oh, it's so good. And their prices are so reasonable compared to other places. Man, there's trees that were like a quarter of the quality, not even. And they were char other places were charging three times as much. We were just like so dis we wanted to like I think we traveled about 150 miles che checking out all these different farms around the Miami Valley. And we're like, oh, no, just nothing compares. Yeah, so Admin Christmas Tree Farm. If you guys are in the Dayton, Southwest Ohio area, that's the place if you want a live tree. Plus it's uh run by an Air Force vet, so that's cool. And it's organized like somebody from the from the military as well it's like very highly organized they have a, about 12 different varieties of trees they're all in nice perfect sections uh yeah lots of fun so yeah we've never been to, i'll take a picture i tell you what we'll i'll get a tree and once we get it up i'll take a picture of it and show it to you guys and show you why i'm so happy and i'll take i'll take a picture of the farm too while we're out there so you guys will see us picking our tree and then once it's all up and 
decorated and everything. I'll do a before and after for decoration. If I can remember all those things. But yeah, I'll definitely show you guys some pictures. And if you're in the uh, southwest Ohio area or, you know, uh, eastern, southeast Indiana area, highly recommend it. It's worth it. Is this going to be... Ah, no, it's another... It's it, This is the one I kept talking about where it's like a landmark looking thing. Where are all the cabins around here? All right, so what I'm going to do is I am going to run over here, set up a tent. Oh, what we got here? Finally found some tracks. Roe deer again. Follow deer. It's telling me to follow it. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to unlock this, and then I think I'll... Uh, Is that the windmill again? Sounds like it, but there's nothing. Weird. All right, let's go around here. Take a look at this, get some experience. The Christmas tree. Hey, it's very topical. Farmers have made sure to cultivate spruce trees around Peter Shan, Shan Lake. Some of them are sold as Christmas trees. Yeah. Cool. All right. So I am going to go ahead and set up a tent right here after I do a jump for no particular reason. I think it was number seven, wasn't it? Yes, yes, yes. There we go. All right. I'm going to go ahead and save the game here. Do a little rest. Yeah, I'll just rest until morning. Windy. You hear that? That's kind of cool. There we go. All right, so there we go. Morning time. Um, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Got two. Got two. Uh, road to your buck. Not that they're anything to. Ooh. I found some tracks in that area earlier this morning. Hold on, I'll send the coordinates. I'm gonna get started on hunting this thing here. I think. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Y'all take care.